KCT 2025 aspirants, so here is an important update. The registration for KCT 2025 has already started and here are some important things that you should be knowing before proceeding for this. So you can see that in the KEA website some important news have come okay and the first one regarding this will be your I can say uh, press notification okay. So if you click on this you can see a document where so much uh, important informations have been given. So let me explain this all to you in detail okay so first of all is that uh, common entrance test is conducted by the KEA okay and what are the courses for which this uh, exam is conducted so that is for your engineering seats okay government share of seats in engineering technology nat naturopathy and yoga b pharma second year uh, b pharma pharma d agriculture courses farm science veterinary and bsc courses in government uh, or university or private aided or private unaided professional educational institutions okay in the state of Karnataka for the academic year 2025 to 2026 as per the seat matrix. So these all courses uh, if you want to join then you have to give this particular exam. Second thing is in order to become eligible to obtain admission for through KEA to the above mentioned professional courses a candidate must register for CET 2025. La last year I remember many of the NEET students or who want to join medical courses thinking that they will they will be appearing in NEET exam they did not register. So whichever course you are taking if that falls under this category you must register for CET 2025 okay. So you have to fill the application through online pay the application fees then you have to download the admission ticket and appear for the entrance test conducted by KEA. Next, uh, next important thing here is that is your after submission of application details of the claims that is claim certificate will be printed in the application form. You will get one claim certificate. Now if your all certificates are correct then you will be getting one successfully verified okay. Then such candidates need not visit any office or college for verification. But if your uh, claimed the documents that you have provide is not verified okay claim verified or claim not verified or not claimed in any of this is written in your uh, uh, in your uh, application form then you have to go and in person physically you have to visit to the office and show all your documents that is the case. Now coming to here what all subjects are required for what all exams this is very important for engineering and technology courses you can take PCM and for all the farm science courses you have to take PCMB for farm science remember PCMB is there then for veterinary science and animal husbandry or naturopathy and yoga and BSc nursing it is only PCB and next for uh, B Pharma, second year B Pharma or Pharma D you can either write PCM or PCB. Okay, These all subjects you should be knowing for what you are appearing and what subject you have to write down. Next you have candidates to apparent to appear entrance exam for other courses. Okay, So if you have medical, dental or Ayush okay, then you have to write the exam UG NEET. Okay, but candidates must compulsory register for CET 2025, fill the application and pay the fees to become eligible for the counselling. This is what last time many students did not do even if you are appearing for NEET but yes you must register for CET to get the to, uh, uh, to be enabled to enter the counselling process. Next we have architecture for that also this is you have to write the exam NATA but yes you have to fill the CET application form. Next for admission for BPT, BSc allied health sciences, BPO courses selection is based on your PU marks ok. So no entrance exam will be there but you must also compulsorily register for CET 2025 clear ok. Next coming to Yes, here is some very important thing, the non-Karnataka students or candidates will not be eligible for admission to engineering uh, stream courses through KEA and they will also be not eligible for reservation, okay. So non-Karnataka students, you are not eligible for this one, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Okay, so you should be reading their information bulletin where all the informations are given that is very thing. Now eligibility here is discussed so let us see the eligibility here. As per the rule 5.1 of Karnataka selection of candidates for admission to government seats in professional educational institutions rule 2006 uh, the uh, 
नंबर कैन नो कैंडिडेट शेल बी एलिजिबल फॉर एडमिशन टू गवर्नमेंट सिंस अनलेस ही इज अ सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया सो द फर्स्ट रूल इज यू शुड बी अ सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया एंड सेटिस्फाई एनी वन ऑफ द एलिजिबिलिटी कंडीशन स्पेसिफाइड ओके सो फर्स्ट इज सिटीजन ऑफ इंडिया देन सम अदर कंडीशन आर देयर द कैंडिडेट्स हु डू नॉट सेटिस्फाई एनी ऑफ द क्लॉजेस और एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया आर नॉट एलिजिबल फॉर एडमिशन टू प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज under government quota seats through kea okay so that is not there next eligibility for oci or pio candidates for government seats shall be as per the directions of the government so so we have to see the information bulletin that is released by the government you have to check the information bulletin to know whether you are eligible for this or not i will be discussing the eligibility in a separate video in detail okay now coming to this is very important what all informations the dates are very important registration and filling of application online will start from 11 am on 23rd of jan that is from 11 am it has already started last date will be on 18th of february 2025 previously the notification that was released in twitter there the date was 21st of feb okay but it is now changed to 18th of feb so up to 1159 pm next last date to apply the fees uh, to pay the application fees that is your 22 2005 that is 20th of february and your admission tickets will be from 25th of march we know dates of exam are 16th and 17th of april so 25th of march onwards you will be able to download your admit card exam dates have already been released before 16th and 17th on wednesday of pc and the next two days you have mathematics and bio okay uh okay so here also i think a certain change in the time table first is your physics and chemistry second day it is mathematics and bio okay now kannada language test will also be there for horanadu and gadinadu kannadiga candidates and these locations will be at bangalore belagavi vijapura and mangalore and that is on 18th of february on 10:30 to 11:30 okay now yes this is what is there in this information bulletin so what all things are important let me tell you one thing that you should be knowing what subjects you are going to apply based on the courses then the next thing is your dates okay dates are very very important that are the two things important here okay